everyone welcome back to my channel i haven't uploaded in over a year i know that's a very long time but seeing this recent kanye West situation i decided to come back on youtube the last time i was here i made a video talking about kanye west and in that video i mentioned the fact that he is not a real christian and a wolf in sheep's clothing i got some comments that were not favorable I am here today to further prove my point that Kanye West was never a real child of God. Now, recently, Kanye has announced that he will be starting a corn business. I have to say corn because of YouTube. But a corn business, right? And I believe that he's doing this because, you know, he lost his deal with Adidas and that bumped him from being a billionaire back to being a millionaire right and Kanye West he got a great humbling from God because of this and I believe that this stroked his ego now back in 2019 Kanye came out professing Christ he said that he was a Christian that he loved God he made you know the son that served his album said that he also came to Jamaica to perform and I was not pleased with the fact that he was using our coat of arms and our national emblems putting them on t-shirts and selling them at exorbitant prices okay I did not like that so I was always of the idea that he wasn't a true Christian based on his actions based on the fact that he would still display old Kanye you know the Bible says that when um, if anybody being Christ he's a new creature he's a new creation right all things are passed away um, behold God makes all things new I'll, I'll put the scripture here and so when you become a Christian a true believer you your old man your old ways your old pattern once you're in Christ that is change what does it mean by old pattern you're always of thinking your old habits they die and when Kanye said that he was a Christian there were a lot of um, believers that actually believed him and I was one of the few individuals that said that this man is not a true believer and the Bible speaks about wolves in sheep's clothing and people who are, are wolves that come amongst the flock. And now in 2024, it is being revealed that he was just a wolf in sheep's clothing. The thing is, is that you have these artists, Justin Bieber, the Kanye West of the world, many artists that they use the gospel because they realize that Christians, one, they're very accepting. Christians, a lot of people who proclaim Christ, proclaim Christ, and proclaim to be a child of God, they don't read their scriptures, and they don't know that the Lord said that we are supposed to be watchful because he sends us out as sheep among wolves, and the enemy, he is like a roaring lion to see who he will devour. And because they're not aware of these things and that they're engaging through spiritual warfare by these uh, pretenders coming in trying to seep into the church, seep into the body, seep into real Christendom, they fall for it. And then when he 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 comes and he says, "Oh, um, I am God," um, let me play the, the clip where he says that he is God and and um doesn't like jesus or believe in jesus i'm gonna play it right here because i'm god and anyone to disagree i'm the god of me and you can't tell me who i am it's another thing i don't like in christianity the fear of god if god is love why should you fear him because you place one fear you get another fear you get another fear what do you have at that point you're easily controllable you're easily sellable you're easily contracted because you have this fear on you like everybody gonna die eventually but i'm gonna live my entire life with zero fear 
fear of a contract, fear of perception, fear of getting my black card, denied. Ain't nobody finna tell me shit, call me shit, call, tell nobody around me shit, play with me, play with nobody around me. None of that. It's from straight from Pink Polo. I got a chip on my shoulder. I'm the lawyer from Carly Those Way. Now, when Kanye West says that he is God and he does a lot of his I statements, it reminds me of the scripture that says that in the last days men shall be lover of themselves. And the thing is, is that he spoke about fear and um, in Christianity, um, we should fear God. And the way how he says it, he says it is a negative way. Christians mean when we speak about the fear of the Lord because the Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and so when we say that we fear God we're not speaking on the topic of oh my god I'm, a, I'm so scared of God God is a boogeyman Ooh, God is gonna kill us if we sin no that's not the nature of God God is very loving he's patient he's merciful he's kind and he's forgiving but when we say fear we're talking about a reverence and a respect for Christ, for God. We're saying that because I love him and because I, I, I adore him and I, I want to please him, I, I fear sin. I fear upsetting him because if you love someone and if you adore them, there's a fear that you don't want to mess up the relationship that you have with them. So it's not... Um, that you are afraid of God. No, you're not gonna hide from God. You're not gonna say, Oh, God is coming. Let me go run underneath my bed or underneath the table. But it's just that you're gonna have the utmost respect for Him and do His will. And that is what um, the Bible speaks about. So it's not speaking about being afraid of Him. And just to go, to, just to show you that He really doesn't understand Scripture, He might read it but not understanding. The Bible says that for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. So how could he highlight the fact that Christianity speaks on fear, but um, the Bible says that he has not given us a spirit of fear? That doesn't make any sense, can you? When he says those things and, and he goes back to his old ways, Everyone who believed him, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe that Kanye West is this, Kanye West is that. Well, if you had read your scripture, you would have known that he wasn't a true man of God. And you know, the Bible says that when a demon is cast out, right? And he goes about seeking rest and he doesn't find any. He goes back to the original place and says, let me go back to my house. And he brings back seven demons seven worse spirits with him right and and the only way he comes back is if when he he goes back to that individuals he sees that the house is swept clean what does it mean it means that when someone is being delivered or has received deliverance if that person doesn't retain the scriptures in their heart and retain the holy spirit and that 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 evil of spirit that has been cast out doesn't find rest it comes back and returns with seven worse spirit and if that spirit sees that that individual hasn't retained the knowledge of god hasn't retained or maintained their deliverance they're going to take over that individual and this is what has happened with connie west because connie was always bad you know he was always crazy he was always had that narcissistic jezebelic spirit but now he's gotten worse for example look at his wife his his new wife um what's her name bianca sensori or bianca if i am pronouncing it wrong um let me know the correct name but his new wife look at how he treats her and i'm gonna do a separate video on that because um kanye west is not a husband <laughs> he's married but he's not a husband right he treats her like a uh, garbage look at how he displays her as if he's angry at, like it's so demonic and then she allows it because if she really had self-respect she wouldn't have allowed Kanye to have her on display you've seen her butt cheeks you've seen her walking up and down with a pillow you see her 
in all sorts of stupid, weird, exposing, revealing clothes or revealing items because I wouldn't even call that clothes nor fashion. And a man who is a true husband and he's a true man of God would not have his wife being exposed like that because guess what? God says that if a man doesn't love his wife, he doesn't love himself. Because remember, you know, when you are married, you are joined to that person and the two of you guys become one. So how you treat the part, your partner, um, it speaks to how you treat yourself and it shows that Kanye West doesn't love himself. No. With the fact that he is starting this corn business, it shows that his pockets are desperate. I mean, we all know the negative impacts that corn has on society. And the thing is, is that in the past, he spoke about how he struggled with corn addiction and he struggled with corn and it and it, um, affected his marriage and it affected his relationship. So why would you go back to the very thing that... Um, you know that was destructive in your life it's gonna destroy you even more and he is going to run himself into a muck mark my words it's not something to play with because not only does corn has have this neurological effect it also um it it affects how you see sex how you see women how you see men and it brings about all sorts of demonic influences and spirits within your life because you're opening up a portal you're opening up a door that you should not be opening you know and when he just says oh it's just two adults doing the blah 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 like I think I need to find a video where he says that he just don't plays what it is like this man <laughs> this man is of the kingdom of darkness I was never surprised that he um he's opening up this corn venture. I was never shocked. I saw the outrage and the backlash online and I was just like, listen, I said it last year. I said he's not a true Christian. Um he um he's a wolf in sheep clothing and uh, he needs help. I said it before and the Bible says by your fruit by their fruits you're gonna know them so I need the Christians to wake up and to realize that these celebrities are playing in your faces they're not playing in my face because I already knew but they're playing in your faces and you don't be so quick except um, these celebrities not only celebrities but just people in general who profess Christ because some persons they profess Christ just to get something it might not be money but it might be oh I'm a Christian it might be notoriety it might be the fact that um, they want to be included in the church and the devil this the devil utilizes people by having them masquerade as um, agents of light and they're not right this is spiritual warfare and the thing is is that every time an artist or a celebrity says that they are becoming a christian and then later down the road they um do something that is anti-christ christians are the first to defend them and no says open rebuke is better than secret love so if you see your brother your so-called converted brother right doing something that is not of god and that is embarrassing the kingdom you rebuke it you don't make excuse and because you guys not me you guys keep making excuses for kanye and kanye adjacent religions can't take Christianity serious because Christianity is becoming a mocking joke and this is the plan of the adversary to discredit Jesus to discredit Christianity to discredit the work on the cross and the devil is a liar 
So Kanye, I hope that you repent. You don't need to turn to corn to make money. You made your money through music, merch, Adidas. You can make it otherwise. I hope you see the light and I hope you see that if you go down through this venture, you're opening up your entire world to more demons. And the fact that you're going to include your wife in the venture and sign your wife? Nah. You will reap destruction if you don't repent. I hope you see the light and I hope you turn and truly hand over your life to Jesus. That's the end of my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.